Hello and welcome to the Investing Meerkat, where we help you dig up the best investment opportunities in Singapore and beyond. Today, we're going to talk about five investments that provide guaranteed principal and returns. That means you won't lose any money and you'll get a fixed amount of interest on your investment. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, not really. There are actually some legitimate options out there that offer this kind of safety and certainty. But before we dive into them, let me explain what we mean by guaranteed principal and returns. Guaranteed principal means that you'll get back the same amount of money that you invested at the end of the investment period. For example, if you invest $10,000 in a product that guarantees your principal, you'll get back $10,000 when it matures. Guaranteed returns means that you'll get a fixed rate of interest on your investment, regardless of market conditions. For example, if you invest $10,000 in a product that pays 3% interest per year, you'll get $300 every year until it matures. Now, why would anyone want to invest in such products? Well, there are a few reasons. First of all, they are very low risk. You don't have to worry about losing money or getting less than what you expected. Second, they are very predictable. You know exactly how much money you'll make and when you'll get it. Third, they are very simple. You don't have to do any research or analysis or monitor the market movements. You just put your money in and wait for it to grow. Of course, there are also some drawbacks to these products. The main one is that they offer very low returns compared to other investments. You can't expect to get rich by investing in them. They are more suitable for people who are looking for a safe place to park their money for a short period of time or who want to diversify their portfolio with some low-risk assets. So, what are these products and where can you find them? Let's take a look at five of them right now. The first one is Singapore Government Treasury Bills, T-Bills. T-Bills are short-term debt securities issued by the Singapore government. They have a maturity of either six months or one year, and they pay a fixed interest rate at the end of the term. They are considered as close to risk-free as possible because the Singapore government has a very high credit rating and is unlikely to default on its obligations. The interest rate on T-bills is determined by an auction process where investors bid for them. The lowest bid that clears the auction is called the cutoff yield, and that's the rate that all successful bidders will receive. The latest cutoff yield for a six-month T-bill was 4% per annum and for a one-year T-bill was 3.7% per annum one. These rates are higher than what you can get from most bank deposits or savings accounts. To buy T-bills, you need to have an account with one of the primary dealers who participate in the auctions. These include banks like DBS, OCBC, and UOB, as well as brokerage firms like Philip Securities and CGSCIMB Securities. You can also buy them through online platforms like Fund Supermart or FSM1. T-bills are suitable for investors who are looking for a very short-term investment with guaranteed principal and returns. They are also useful for parking your money while waiting for other investment opportunities. The second one is Singapore Government Bonds, SGBs. SGBs are long-term debt securities issued by the Singapore government. They have a maturity of between 2 and 30 years and they pay a fixed interest rate every 6 months until they mature. They are also considered as close to risk-free as possible because of the same reasons as T-bills. The interest rate on SGBs is also determined by an auction process where investors bid for them. The lowest bid that clears the auction is called the cutoff yield and that's the rate that all successful bidders will receive. The latest cutoff yields for SGBs ranged from 0.52% per annum for a 2-year bond to 1.84% per annum for a 30-year bond. These rates are lower than what you can get from T-bills because longer-term bonds carry more risks such as inflation and interest rate changes. To buy SGBs, you need to have an account with one of the primary dealers who participate in the auctions or through online platforms like Fund Supermart or FSM1. SGBs are suitable for investors who are looking for a long-term investment with guaranteed principal and returns. They are also useful for locking in a fixed interest rate for a longer period of time. The third such investment is Singapore Savings Bonds, SSBs. SSBs are a special type of SGBs that are designed for individual investors. 
They have a maturity of 10 years and they pay a step-up interest rate every 6 months until they mature. The interest rate increases every year, so the longer you hold them, the higher your return. However, unlike regular SGBs, you can redeem your SSBs in any month before they mature, with no penalty. You will get back your principal and any accrued interest. The interest rate on SSBs is determined by the average yield of SGBs of various tenors over the past month. The latest average return for a 10-year SSB was 3.15% per annum and the interest rates ranged from 3.01% per annum for the first year to 3.53% per annum for the 10th year one. These rates are higher than what you can get from SGBs because SSBs have a lower issuance size and a higher redemption flexibility. To buy SSBs, you need to have a bank account with one of the three local banks and an individual CDP securities account. You can apply through DBS slash POSB, OCBC, and UOB ATMs or Internet Banking or OCBC's mobile application. You can also use your Supplementary Retirement Scheme, SRS, funds to buy SSBs through your respective SRS operator's Internet Banking portal. SSBs are suitable for investors who are looking for a safe and flexible way to save for the long term. They are also useful for diversifying your portfolio with some low-risk assets. The fourth one would be fixed deposits, FDs. FDs are deposits that you place with a bank for a fixed period of time and earn a fixed interest rate. They are different from savings accounts because you cannot withdraw your money before the maturity date without paying a penalty. They are also different from current accounts because they do not allow you to write checks or use ATM cards. The interest rate on FDs depends on the bank, the amount, the currency, and the tenure of your deposit. Generally, the higher the amount, the longer the tenure, and the less common the currency, the higher the interest rate. The latest interest rates for FDs in Singapore dollars ranged from 0.85% per annum for a one-year deposit of $10,000 to 1.15% 1 per annum for a one-year deposit of $100,000. These rates are lower than what you can get from T-bills, SGBs, or SSBs because FDs are not backed by the government and they have lower liquidity. To open an FD account, you need to have a savings or current account with the bank that you want to deposit with. You can apply online or at any branch of the bank. You can also use your SRS funds to open FD accounts with some banks. FDs are suitable for investors who are looking for a short-term investment with guaranteed principal and returns. They are also useful for earning some interest on your idle cash. Now let's cover the fifth investment type, endowment plans. Endowment plans are insurance products that combine savings and protection. They pay you a lump sum of money at the end of a fixed period of time or upon death or total permanent disability, whichever is earlier. They also pay you regular bonuses along the way, which may be guaranteed or non-guaranteed depending on the performance of the insurer's participating fund. The interest rate on endowment plans depends on the insurer, the plan type, the premium amount and frequency, and your age and health status when you buy the plan. Generally, the higher the premium amount and frequency, the longer the policy term and the younger and healthier you are, the higher the interest rate. The latest projected returns for endowment plans in Singapore ranged from 2.02% per annum to 4.75% per annum. These rates are based on certain assumptions and illustrations, and they may vary depending on actual outcomes. To buy an endowment plan, you need to consult an insurance agent or financial advisor who will assess your needs and recommend a suitable plan for you. You can also compare different plans online using platforms like MoneySmart or PolicyPal. Endowment plans are suitable for investors who are looking for a long-term investment with guaranteed principal and returns as well as some insurance coverage. They are also useful for saving up for specific goals like retirement. Now, let us give you a special bonus with another possible investment, Structured Deposits, SDs. SDs are deposits that are linked to the performance of an underlying financial asset, product, or benchmark. They have a maturity of usually between 1 and 5 years and they pay a variable interest rate depending on the outcome of the underlying asset. They also guarantee your principal if you hold them until maturity and if the bank remains solvent. The interest rate on SDs depends on the bank, the underlying asset, the market conditions, and the complexity of the product.
Generally, the higher the potential return, the higher the risk and the lower the probability of achieving it. The latest interest rates for SDs in Singapore ranged from 1.5% per annum to 5% per annum. These rates are based on certain scenarios and assumptions and they may vary depending on actual outcomes. To buy SDs, you need to have a savings or current account with the bank that offers them. You can apply online or at any branch of the bank. You can also use your SRS funds to buy SDs with some banks. SDs are suitable for investors who are looking for a medium-term investment with guaranteed principal and returns as well as some exposure to other financial assets. They are also useful for enhancing your returns with some market participation. So, there you have it. Six investments that provide guaranteed principal and returns in Singapore. Of course, these are not the only options available and you should always do your own research and due diligence before investing in any product. You should also consider your risk appetite, investment objectives, and financial situation before making any investment decision. And that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new and useful today. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest investing trends, tips, and expert advice, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to The Investing Iguana. We're constantly working on new content to help you navigate the world of investments with confidence. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, feel free to drop a comment below. We love hearing from our audience. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, keep investing wisely and growing your wealth. This is the Investing Iguana, signing off.